Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rob Dugan and this is your preview for maybe Eric Tenak's last game as Manchester United manager actually. Well, that's what people are saying, even though I don't believe that. Well, this is our preview for the Aston Villa Manchester United game tomorrow. And uh, I want to give you guys my first level, my idea on how we should approach it. I really want to do so. And I need your input, guys. Uh, I, I mean, if you watch my previous video, I talked about Inzaghi being the new manager. Is that the right thing? Go there and watch that video and tell me what you think. But look, I want to tell you this. Uh, I don't care if Tenak's last game or he stays and everything. I care if Manchester United win. And you need to be in that mentality. You need to be in that mentality of... You want to get it. Let me put it this way. If Manchester United goes into Villa and um, gets a master class of a football and loses 2-1, what would be your opinion? If Manchester United or if Manchester United goes and win the game dirty, what would be your opinion in regards to the manager? Because I think if you are a soft-hearted person, you would just think everything is on the manager. I am so pissed that people can understand that the manager who obviously needs to take the blame but there are also people other people who take the blame look when we, we, you i think you will know this because this one of the reasons and one of the things i believe will happen is eric tenag being sacked on sunday or on monday it will revolutionize the, uh, the manchester united fan base i think the fan base will put plaques up and say sack marcus rashford bruno get out of my team the whole season because you'll get to know very quickly that these players play when they want to play but let's come back with the lineup. We are playing against a very aggressive man, uh, team in Aston Villa. Back in the days, just 15 years ago, Aston Villa was one of those teams. I say Alex Ferguson, well, I don't like saying this, but we, we need to think about this guy. He was he's a legend. But one of those teams that say Alex Ferguson used to use his second team and to play them. Villa was always a three point. The best Villa could do could surprise us with a draw. It was very hard for Villa to win us. But uh, this is one of those days where we are going to Villa. And all of you are saying Ten Hag's last game. When did we last hear that it's Ten Hag's last game? It was the FA Cup. And what happened? We clashed the player champion. So I don't think all is done already. I think Manchester United will go to, to that Villa game because Ten Hag has said, I'm a fighter. He will go with a very tight team. And I'll tell you the team which they, want, they will use. If I'm Ten Hag, I'm trying to go into his mind here. And guys, for those of you... Please write your lineup below. I want you to get your lineup. Uh, Femi, is someone I like uh, who, who writes here. You have also Van den Horst. Uh, thanks for all of you who are members. You're the ones supporting us. Uh, now, please uh, click the like on the video. Always like the videos when you see them, guys, please, because it helps to push them to new fans into this channel. That's just the only way we grow. I'm, I'm just already fed up. Uh, my hands are up. <laughs> I didn't do anything with the channel, but we have been shadow banned. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, I'm even thinking of maybe changing and doing another channel, honestly. So, uh, 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 well, uh, uh, I want to say this. I really think that, uh, uh, that I need your lineup because when you, some of you write these lineups, I look at it very carefully and try to see the tactical. But this is the way I'm going to go. Look, I was normally Onana starts, look at the board. Yeah, I will still, I will still, I will put Lisandro Martinez here on the left and Harry Maguire. I think they need to start this game. But Harry Maguire will start because he scored. The pressure is too much on Ten Hag. Mazwari will be here. And then you have um, the Delo. In the midfield, this will be important. If we start Casemiro, the first 20 minutes will take at least a goal. So, so first 20 minutes will take at least a goal for Casemiro start. So I will go with not Casemiro starting. I will go. I will bring in the energetic Ogate to play alongside with Menu. And... Um, Bruno, as you guys know, Bruno will be captain in the game. One of the yellow cards were removed. So Bruno Fernandez yellow card, and uh, so he will play the next game. So Bruno Fernandez will play as uh, as a, uh, the playmaker. Bruno's situation is a situation which we'll have to talk for another video because personally, I think Bruno has to be sold, even if he scores a hat trick tomorrow. We have to change the way we play, and for us to change the way we play, we have to make sure uh bruno is in there if we can cash on him that was the biggest mistake we did we would have sold him and bought another player um on the left because we will be going for very quick uh very counter-attacking game i will put marcus rashford on the left and this is a, a one i want to ask you guys should should uh should ganacho start over ahmed in this game because we are playing away 
I would really love us to hit to go on a high. Uh, we should go on a high. That means we go on a high. We play on a high line against Villa. So we block them the way we block City in the finals. If we can block Z Villa, not allow them to play. I am just worried about Harry Maguire's pace because when they also have an issue, they can score and that breaks our morale. And we know when United pick the ball, pick the uh, score uh, receive, gets a goal, concede a goal. It's a, it's an issue for us morally. But I would start. I I I I I think Ganacho should come to the bench, come from the bench. But I will start this game with. I will start with Ahmad because Ahmad is the only player that can keep the ball. Someone should tell me if I'm wrong on this one. I think Ahmad is the only player from the way he plays that is capable of keeping the ball close to someone like uh, Lionel Messi. And at the nine, I will uh, play with Zeski. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, what did I say, Zeski? I will play with Rasmus. I think Zeski with all respect, I was so happy with this guy signing for Manchester United. I think he needs to talk to a psychologist, a psychologist, not psychiatrist for sure, but a psychologist to build his morale, his confidence. When you see this kid in the pitch, it's like they just pushed him into the field to go and play. He's like running, he doesn't know what to do. And with the hair, it's like a baby you call, you call it. You know when the baby has, you know, kids there. So um, I think Zeski, honestly, if you think Fete Nak has had a bad start, I think that Zeski has had the worst start uh, in the team. The reason why people are not talking about Zeski is because he's a very calm, young child, young boy. And uh, he's, um, that's why Tenag is an easy target uh, to, hit, to hit on. This game, I'm going for 2-2. Two -two. I think United will not lose the game, but United will draw. Yes, 2-2 two -two or 3-2, two, any of them can win. I think United can win 3-2. I think Avila can win 3-2, but 2-2, I think it's going to be an interesting game because the players will up a gear. You see what I mean? This will be a good example to show you guys how fraudulent we have players here, yeah, players who are playing for Manchester United, that we have the biggest fraud in modern football. These players will either, they won't give a shit, which means they won't even get, care to give, give uh, their best on the pitch, or they will try to, you know, uh, play for the manager so you shouldn't be sad we will know we know what we, we know when you open the paper and say how oh, you you go on youtube videos most of you and you listen they say uh oh the, the players are, are not backing the players are not with the manager they're not listening they don't they are, i mean the dressing room has an issue tomorrow we will know from the way the players play we'll know from marcus rashford's body language and for god's sake if eric tenak is sacked tomorrow or on monday please the club has to have a strategy to get marcus Ashford out of the team okay there is no Marcus Rashford in Aston Villa. There is no Marcus Rashford in Manchester City. There is no Marcus Rashford in uh, um, Arsenal. And they are playing football. So Rashford is not the god. Without Rashford, Manchester United will continue. So players like Rashford, Bruno, I can say he should leave because of his, his personality. But Rashford must be sold next season. And please, I just think, look, let me repeat this. Please, guys, I know this might be a little bit uh, strange for you guys to listen, but look, if you are level-handed, right, uh, you will agree with me that Marcus Rashford needs to be sold. United will never go somewhere with Marcus Rashford. This is a player that plays. He's a seasonal player. He's a player that I wouldn't say he, he hates Manchester United. That would be outrageous. But I just think that Marcus Rashford has arrived the limit of playing in such a club like United. He needs a new challenge. So hopefully um, the Glazers, uh, I said the Glazers, hopefully the Ineos group will see this very quickly and make a decision on him. Anyway, guys, drop your comments below. Tell me what you think. What will be the scores? I have gone for a 2-2 game or either side can win 3-2. Smash a like on the video, getting involved with the United Way. Guess what? If you don't click the like, the video goes nowhere. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.